When talking about minerals, we can take that very broad category and subdivide it into smaller categories based upon the characteristics of the minerals. So one way we can do that is by silicate versus non-silicate. And as you can see here, silicates comprise 92% of Earth's crust. So the vast majority of minerals are going to fall into the category of silicates. But what is a silicate? Well, a silicate is anything that is made out of a combination of silicon and oxygen. Now recall, those are both elements that are produced when a high mass star goes through its final stages. All red giants create oxygen and then the very high mass giants create silicon. This is the second to last element that they create because then the silicon fusion produces iron. So it's no wonder that these are very abundant because these are uh, the primary elements created in the life cycle of a star. And here we see the silicon structure. You have, uh, or silicate structure, I should say. You've got one silicon atom and four oxygen atoms all combined together to create one silicate. And then the silicates in general have other things attached to these to create the individual minerals with the exception of quartz. Quartz is purely a silicate. Within the silicates, we can subdivide based upon composition. And the two main categories are going to be ferromagnesian and non-ferromagnesian. So ferromagnesium, Fe, that's the atomic symbol for iron. And then magnesium, that kind of tells you magnesium is present. So we've got iron and magnesium. These are heavy metals. And so the fact that you've got heavy metals uh, included in your mineral, it makes sense that it's going to have a high density and it's going to have a dark color. And so here we see two, we see hornblende here and biotite, biotite mica. And other examples of ferromagnesiums, augite, hornblende we see here, garnet, which actually has kind of a reddish color. Biotite mica, you see here, olivine is actually green in color. And here's something bizarre, but according to how geologists think of color, green is considered the darkest color. I don't know why, but there you go. So green is actually considered darker than black when we talk in terms of darkness of a silicate or of any mineral. Non Ferromagnesium means that there are no heavy metals. So we don't have iron or magnesium in there. We have other uh, elements present, but not iron and magnesium. So density is going to be low, lower, and the color is going to be lighter. We're going to be mostly seeing uh, minerals that are white and pink when we look at non-ferromagnesium. So muscovite mica, this is actually clear. It uh, breaks off in thin sheets. It was once used for um, windows. Feldspar tends to be pink. Kaolinite is white. And quartz, which is what this is a picture of, 
is white as well. So non-ferromagnesiums, we're going to easily identify these by the fact that the coloring is very light in color. Non-silicates we're not going to focus on much, primarily because it's only 8% of the materials found in Earth's crust. So not very common, and so we're not going to focus too much on the non-silicates.